Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to download the Sentinel-2 dataset using the Google Earth Engine platform. So to download this dataset, you need to go to any browser and search here Google Earth Engine. Once you will search here, you need to click here on a Google Earth Engine. Then when you'll come here, there's a dataset option is there, dataset. Once you'll click on the dataset, you can able to download the different data set like Landsat, Moody Sentinel. In last video, I have shown how we can able to download the Landsat data set. Today, we'll see how we can able to download the Sentinel-2 data set. So once you'll click here, you'll see here the details about the Sentinel collections. So there are Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2. So like this Sentinel-5 data set is there. And if you want to download the Sentinel-2 data set, you need to click here. Once you'll click here, we'll get the detail about the Sentinel-2 data set. Okay, so it is a high resolution data set, multispectral imaging mission with a five day revisit frequency. Okay, so this S2 multispectral instrument, MSI, sample 30 spectral bands. So we are getting 30 spectral bands, nearly visible and near infrared, and it is 10 meter resolution. Then red H and SWR 20 meter and atmospheric band at 60 meters special resolution. So when you'll go to search here about the Sentinel-2 bands, okay, you'll get the detail about the Sentinel-2 satellite bands. So see, you can able to see the details here. That is the 10 meter resolution Four band is here, that is a green, that is a blue, green, red, and NIR is a 10 meter. Okay. If I'll open this, then you can able to see in details. Then these are the 20 meters resolution band. Okay. Red edge as discussed here in the website. There is a red edge and SWR 20 meter and atmospheric band at 60 meter. Here you can able to see 60 meters. So if you'll come downside, there is surface reflectance and top of the atmospheric reflectance. Uh, what are the data you want to download? You can able to download from here. You just need to click here. Okay, this is the atmospheric corrected surface reflectance data. If you want to download, you just click here. Once you click there, you will get the detail. So data available from 2017. Okay, so we are getting for 2024 as well. Then you can able to see the details about all of this. Okay. So this is the harmonized collection shift data. Okay. So what is this that if you want to see in the detail, you need to read all this. Okay. So here you can able to see the script is given. And here Python script is given. Okay. So this is the JavaScript and uh, you can able to see the details about this, whatever is there in the script. Okay. That is also written here. Okay. So that is a asset contain 12 unit, 16 spectral bands and all that. So all this detail is given here. So if you'll read this in details, you will get the idea about the script as well. So what is the use of this data set? Okay, Sentinel-2 data set is actually useful for the land monitoring studies, including the vegetation, soil and water cover, also land use land cover mapping, waterways and coastal area studies. So we can able to use this data set for many different purposes. If you want to show the land use land cover change detection, then also you can able to use this. So there are many applications. So let will see the details. If you'll see here QA60, it is a bitmark band that contain the rasterized cloud mass polygon. Okay. So here you can able to see this QA60. They are giving details. This is the rasterized cloud mask. And Copernicus, whatever you are able to see this Copernicus, we are using this harmonized data. Okay. So when you'll come up, you can able to see the more details about the bands. They are giving more details about the bands. Then uh, 
again if you'll come here image properties they are given after that so now we'll come again to description and uh, so now i'm interested to open this file in google earth engine so you just need to click you just need to click here open in code editor so once you click here you'll able to see the same code is open here so we need to click on the run once you'll click on the run automatically you will see the sentinel 2 data set here okay and if you'll come downside then you can able to see the details here so what i'm interested i'm interested to download it for a particular area okay because if when you will zoom unzoom it you will see this image is very big and it is available for the whole world so i'm interested to download for a particular region okay i'm not interested to download for whole world i'm just interested to download it for my particular region so let will create our shape file here so if you are already having a shape file you can add your shape file from here in last video how to download the landsat data there i have uploaded a shape file but here what i will do i will take the rectangle and i will draw here okay so like suppose i'm interested to download in this region so let i will click here this option is there draw rectangle so just draw the rectangle okay you will see this rectangle is added here so i will change this name to as a roi that is my region of interest and uh, after that i will enter here i want to i want to see this portion so you can add here as a map dot add layer in bracket roi and semicolon then we need to delete this center because map dot center means this is set center if you we'll click here then it will automatically go to map that center option okay means once i if i'll click so it will automatically go to what is the lat long i have provided okay so that i can able to change it let i will cut from here and i will paste here map dot center so instead of that i will add here roi zoom lever i want suppose 10 then click on run okay so here i will lat long is required instead of that we will use map dot center object so map dot center object then click on run so now you can able to see you can able to get the location so we need to use the center object roi 10 after that you are able to see this much of portion is coming of full image but i want to clip only for this region okay i'm interested to do with this only this region so what we can able to do we need to write some code here okay so like i will go here okay so this code we need to write that var sentinel2 is equal to dataset.min and i am interested to download only four bands okay and then i want to clip with my study area okay what is this i will explain in detail so let i will copy this and uh, i'll paste it here okay so what i am saying in the sentinel2 data set okay i am creating a variable here sentinel2 in that data set dot mean and i just want to select the four bands band 8 band 4 band 3 and band 2 and i want to clip with my roi that is a region of interest and then i will just click on the run 
so after this we need to change here okay so i don't want to clip from the data set i want to use this sentinel 2 here so just select the sentinel 2 and just add here sentinel 2 and then run so you will see that now we are clipping this area with only with our study area so let i will uncheck the layer from here then you will see we have clip our study area so what we did we just added the script and added study area region of interest then this step i have added that i just want to just i just want that four band okay so let i will do band eight four three so this is the fcc just click on apply So you'll see this is creating a FCC image. Okay. And now what I'm interested, I'm interested to export this image. I'm interested to export this image. So to export this image, we need to write here like that to export this, this code we need to write here. Okay. So just copy this and uh, I'll paste it here. So export dot image to drive. I want to export this image to drive. So Sentinel two image. So this is my Sentinel two. Okay. Description is that I want image to drive X. Okay. Then scale is ten meter. Then region of interest ROI, and I want max pixel size means if your area is large, then you need to write this. So let, I'll click on the run. Once I'll click on the run, you will see in the task, the option is showing me to download this file. Okay. So to download this file, we need to click on the, this image to drive because we have given description here, image to drive. If you provide any another name, that name will come here. Just click on the run. And you can just type whatever you want right just like sentinel 2 so here we don't want space okay so i'm adding this folder and so let's so let i will export this into tiff format so just click on the run once we'll click on the run it will take little bit time to export your image. Okay. So up to that, we'll see the details about it, what this is indicating. So first we have added the study area. Okay. If you're having a shape file, you can add a shape file from here and it will cut with same as your study area. After that, here is the function is used that is mask to cloud. So we are using this to remove the cloud here. Okay. We want to remove the cloud. After that, this dot divide 10,000, if you'll see, when you will come here, then you will see the details about here. They are saying that we want to keep the scale value in original format. So to keep this file into original format, zero to one, we require to add this, okay, 10,000. After that, So that when you will come here again to script, then here we want to add about the image collection. Okay, image collection data. So this image collection is Copernicus. And here we can able to change the date. If you want to download it for 2021, 22, 23, you can change the date here. Then I want to filter with the cloud free data. I want just 20% of cloud. Within the 20%, whatever image is coming that I just want. I don't want more cloud image. And same, I want to mask with the cloud. Okay. So this, whatever you have seen, mask to cloud image. After that, we have added this script that I just want a four bands. Okay. That is a blue, green, red, and NIR band I want. And these are the visualization parameter. Okay. So 
I have added that band four three two. It is a natural color composite will come. So after that, we have exported this to drive. To export the drive, we need to write these commands, and after that, we can able to export this. So this will take little bit time to export in the drive. Once it will come to the drive, I will download it, and we can able to see the band composite image from this Sentinel two dataset. So it's downloaded now. So it will take time based on your area. If your area is big, then it will take more time to download the data set. So we'll go to mail and we'll check our in drive. So later I'll go to drive. So this you will see the Sentinel-2 image. Just click here. And uh, else you can able to click here and download option is there just click on the download so this is 257 mb again click on download so this file is downloading so this way very easily we can able to download the data set so my file is downloaded so let will open this in our folder okay so let i will go to arc map so let i will drag this file into arc map click yes So this is very easily we can able to download. So right click, go to properties. You can able to change the bands. Like if you want to do FCC, then band eight, band four, band three, apply, okay. So now if you want to do any analysis like land use, land cover change or anything, you can able to do here. And you can also do that land use, land cover change detection in our, in Google Earth engine as well. That also I will cover in coming videos. So if you are having any doubt regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.